Hi everyone, Freedy Hero here, and welcome to today's video. I'll be covering this week's events and limited bounties for the 2nd of March till the 8th of March. Firstly, let's go over this week's limited bounties. We have the following. Hunt 3 Brute Withens, complete 5 quests within the Core Highlands, and complete 5 8 Star Bank quests. Do all of this and you'll be rewarded with a Golden Egg and a Golden Withen Print. The first event we have is the Wiggle Me This event quest, which tasks you with collecting 10 Wigglers. This is a low level 6 star quest which is honestly easy to complete straight away and will take you only a minute to complete. Once you complete the quest you'll be rewarded with a Wiggler ticket that once you take to the Weaponsmith will allow you to access the Wiggler helmet which honestly looks completely silly but handy for support dual slots and skill slots. I recommend you do this event and get the following materials so you can unlock this item and become one with the Wigglers. Next we have the Flesh Cleave the Bone event quest where you'll be put up against Odo Garon and Radaban, both within the arena. This is a 5 star quest which should be very easy to take on solo as long as you bring a weapon or element that both the monsters are weak to. I advise you to pick off one monster first before engaging with the other as it can be very chaotic with the two fighting each other and fighting you at the same time. Also both of these monsters have a turf war with each other which leaves a wide opportunity for you to cover some ground and prepare yourself against the two if you're in deep. Make use of this opportunity and focus on the monster you can down easily first and then work your way onto the next monster. I found that there's nothing special for the event as for rewards as you will generally just get a few materials so you can either depending on your level sell all your materials for more zeni or take the materials and create a beneficial armor set that is ideal for your survivability. It's entirely up to you. Next we have the Core Waltz event quest which puts you up against all the Core Highland Apex monsters you may have come up against within your travels. This is a 7 star quest which should be relatively easy to complete for high level players as long as you stock up and bring the right weapons for the fight. I recommend you bring some flash pods, dung bombs and a lightning weapon so you can easily breeze through the monsters and complete the quest in a record timing. I recommend you do this solo as the scale of a monster's health are much more lower than usual as there are multiple monsters to fight this time. Meaning you can go kill a monster depending on your gear and weapons within 5 to 10 minutes depending on how fast you can speed run this. And then you can move on to the next one and you can do this within probably less than 10 minutes. Just like the other two Apex quests, this event is quite nice for gathering high rank materials within one go. It can also net you a few rare materials within one sitting rather than go back and forth. Also just like the other major events, this event also has a high chance to give you a giant miniature crown for each monster you face. If you're that type of person that's looking to complete the very rare crown trophy. And lastly we have a challenge arena based quest which is a expert 9 star quest that will put you up against both a tempered Yorgan and Beetlejuice within the gathering hall arena. All you need to do is slay both of them and collect your rewards for a few arena based coins. But good luck with this one as I did find this one quite hard to do and if you don't have anyone to do this with I recommend you find someone first to help you with it because doing this one solo is quite painful and honestly the weapons you get they, they will only do so much for you. And that everyone is the end of that. I hope the video provided the information you need to know more about the events and what they may hold for you. If you enjoyed the video then a like and a sub would be appreciated, if not then leave a dislike and I'll go over the video to see what I need to improve on in the future. But once again thank you all for watching and I do hope to see you again soon.